How's it going, everybody? Stavage here to saying what is good to all my Super Saiyan homies here to bring you all sorts of Dragon Ball content. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. That being said, yes, this is my face. This is this is my me. Uh, I've put myself in like a couple of thumbnails, but that's about it. Uh, I've been trying to do this for a little while to, you know, get face cam going with uh, stuff. This is just going to be, uh, I'm only going to do this like during intros and then like during uh, summon videos. It's the only time I'm going to do it just because like I know having me in the middle of the screen is super obnoxious, uh, but it's just because of the hardware that I have uh, at the time of recording and doing all this right now. Uh, the, on the only way I'm able to like do this is via an app on my phone, not like via my laptop and everything like that. Um, you know, it's just kind of, uh, I'm working with what I got. Uh, so yeah, that being said, uh, I want to say a huge, huge thank you for 200 subs. That's crazy to me that we're, we're, you know, just another step in the, in the journey, in the process. Uh, you know, we're, two, we're a fifth of the way to that, that thousand subscriber, uh, step for monetization. I haven't looked at the watch hours in a while, uh, but I know those have like steadily been increasing too. So I can't say thank you enough, uh, for every like, for every comment, for every view. Y'all are, y'all are amazing. Uh, that being said, uh, today we're going to do a small little showcase with some post commentary, uh, and it'll be like the intro to the giveaway, uh, which will be like a three-step uh, thing as it was before, you know, so like this will be the first one that's like, you know, make sure you're subscribed, which is always going to be the first step for all the giveaways. Uh, it's, it, it, spoiler alert, like, that's always going to be number one. Uh, just be subscribed. Uh, <laughs> um... So yeah, that being said, that'll be that, and then just be sure to stick to or to come back around tomorrow for step two. Tomorrow we're going to be doing uh, the torture summons, which is something I've been looking forward to for a while now. I've been trying to get this face cam stuff up and running uh, so we could get that going. Because the whole idea is, I got uh, hot tamales, I got like warheads, I got all sorts of like sour and spicy stuff that like I have zero tolerance for whatsoever. Uh, and for every multi that we don't get the new 17 or 18, uh, we are going to eat a handful of those. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to that like i said i've been looking forward to that for a while and i'm gonna like you know hopefully people will comment like other stuff they want to see me torture myself with uh in the future uh so that being said today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a small little showcase uh small little you know post commentary so showcase ending out the pvp season and whatnot using vegeta family but there's a small little twist this is an evolution of vegeta team it goes every single version uh of vegeta you've got you know you've got scouter vegeta uh then we've got uh for super saiyan we are rather yeah we've got scouter vegeta Vegeta in terms of base form. Uh, then we've got for Super Saiyan, we've got the Final Flash Vegeta from the Cell Saga. Uh, then we've got Majin Vegeta. Then we've got God Vegeta. Then we've got the Blue Vegeta from the Future uh, Saga. And then lastly, we got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta if we're branching off into the T GT uh, timeline. So every form of Vegeta is represented here, which I just think is super duper cool because even with Machin Vegeta, he's also technically Super Saiyan 2. Uh, the only one we're missing is Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, obviously, but we don't have him in the game. Uh, whoop, did not mean for the screen to lock. Uh, and what's also nice is because we're doing this, the Scouter Vegeta actually ends up Zenkai buffing the Purple Vegeta. Now, I have no, at no point, uh, have any reason to bring the Green Vegeta, and I actually didn't end up bringing. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 in any of the videos that I ended up keeping. I used him a lot in the grind that I was doing. I had like a 15 game win streak and then the one loss that I took I was actually going to be in this video. But uh, any, I, like I said, I don't think any of the matches that I did uh, end up putting in here ended up having Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. If I'm wrong, great. But if not, you guys know why. Alright, I will see you guys in a second. So straight out the gun, we gotta answer the age-old question, Sun Fam versus uh, Vegeta Fam, and you know, we start screwing the pooch a little bit, like I very easily could have capitalized on that tackle, uh, but I'm dumb and I was intimidated by UI because I hate UI, he is my absolute most hated unit in the game, uh, we try to get a little bit off on him, and then uh, Kako Daigayo Gohan shows up. But it's all good. We can kind of box him out a little bit. We kind of force him to do the double switch right there, uh, having a nice little priority early on. So you know, things are looking things are looking pretty nice er early on. Uh, we're gonna drift out a little bit, see if we can catch him. Um, and, you know, right here we're facing the two the two like units that if you put them in the right hands, they would be Z tier. But if not, they're they're just kind of mids. Uh, so right here I go for the the classic, uh, you know, the, that that priority uh, green card. Um, that we get with like Majin Vegeta with Omega with uh, the infamous yellow Gohan It doesn't really end up working too well, but we get a switch in with uh, the blue Vegeta and again My least favorite unit is just gone. He's he's melted He's out of here because let's be real here. You can you can melt him in, in one combo But if you don't melt him, he, he's gonna be obnoxious to deal with uh, So at this point, we're just kind of you know, we're doing our things. We get some taps in um, 
delay the Gohan, and I, I figured at this point, you know, I could I could take priority. Uh, but no, he's got he's got a bazillion and one key. He's got a blue card. He's got a blast card. He's got this and that. Uh, but a nicely timed switch because you know he he's not necessarily dropping the combo since he's switching in ends up working out. And we got the blue card to just chunk away at Namigoku. Now here we start doing a nice amount of strike damage, but it's not quite enough. And I was hoping it would be because I didn't want to have to throw out the rush. I wanted to save it for Gohan. But if I I am of the mind if you leave Namigoku with any health at all, you are you are making a mistake because they you know. He can switch out. Even if you kill that other unit, he's coming back, and it's as if you did nothing at all. So I threw the rush out. We take care of Namek Goku, and then we have to deal with the beast himself. Uh, the, the final form, the final boss. Super Saiyan 2, Zenkai 7, freaking <sighs> Cheat Hunt. So... Here he starts going off a little bit. He's doing his thing. We're gonna let him. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him uh, blast through. He goes off on his rush, uh, and I'm just kind of, you know, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about the cards he threw. I just end up going for a strike because I figure it's gonna be one of the two basic ones. Uh, and what do you know? Uh, that's a, what it is. That's a more. It's great. We got the one HP. Uh, and we're even able to, you know, which it's kind of weird that he went for a tap bait because I, I was playing pretty aggressive to this point. So, like, you know, you'd think with some adaptability, he, he, he probably wouldn't go for a tap bait and, and would uh, capitalize on my aggressiveness, try to go for a PvE. But no, ends up working out, and we're able to go for the LF. But uh, no, we get a big old forfeit, and we get a nice old forfeit screen. So this is probably my favorite match of the entire PvP season. This dude, I, I, I just had so much fun playing against him. He's using my son, uh, he's using Kid Boo, he's using the purple um, Rosé. It's just like, he, he's just he's just using such a fun team. A lot of characters that I really uh, enjoy using myself. He, he starts catching me pretty early on, and, that, and that's what's going to kind of make things you know, pretty difficult. It's just like, I, I am just like really falling for this aggression. And he, he's allowed to be this aggressive with the with the guys that he has. You know, he's got blast armor. He's got two strike covers. He's got Boo with his freaking endless vanishes. Like, this is a blue, blue, purple team that you can just, you can be aggressive. And I gotta be honest, if, if my uh, if my kid Boo were higher stars, I, I would be running this team pretty regularly. Like, th these guys are pretty pretty set. And um, what's even better is, is he does have the blue, blue, purple bench. Now, at this point, I'm just kind of trying to play around the strike covers. Um, I, I am not, like, a big fan of dropping uh, combos just because, you know, with lag, uh, it, it, the timing doesn't always necessarily work out. So I, if I don't have to drop a combo, I won't. Uh, but it doesn't end up working out. I, I try to, you know, play it out, try to do my thing and, and catch Broly. Lose my God Vegeta early arm, uh, my insurance with the cross arm guard. It, it's not looking too too healthy for us. Uh, but you know we're gonna see what we could do. Majin Vegeta and the purple Vegeta could very easily pull this off. Uh, we're gonna try and go for a right away, uh, but he does end up working out with the taps. We do avoid his ult though, and that's huge. That that's gonna be a huge uh, uptick. Now once again we're trying to avoid the strike cover, uh, but he does bring in Boo, which was quite surprising. Uh, and Boo it almost gets one shot, but not quite, which is really uh, again another. Another one of those things that it's just like, geez, it, it would have been so crucial. Now at this point we go for the the blue card into a rush, uh, just because I, I, I someone's got to go, someone's got to get out of here. Um, I was hoping you know maybe maybe we'd catch him on a switch or something like that. Um, it, it, well, that's not true. I wasn't hoping I was going to catch him on a switch. That's not how that that uh, tech works. But you know, I was just hoping again we could we could get someone out of the way, especially that Boo who like just doesn't vanish anything. Now at that point, I had no key, I had no vanish, I had nothing I could do other than drift out and just kind of play it out, maybe bait, bait out a couple of timer counts from him. But no, he sees through, straight through it, starts getting real aggressive, fires off his own rush. Thank the Lord I got the purple Vegeta in here at this point. Uh, we're going to go for one of the basic cards, figuring, you know, he's probably going to use a blue for damage. He just used a green, uh, and that's exactly what happens. We do end up guessing the rush, but a 1 HP Vegeta is not great, especially with this. We go for a tap clash. I'm going for a blast. He's got. I'm surprised he's got all this card and key. Uh, we're going to go in for all this, but for the card up costs and everything, it's just not great. Uh, we blast back. He's going to bring in the Rosé, which is, again, we're good for avoiding the cover change. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of healing in. We're going to destroy the uh, card right there. You know, just 
kind of hoping to chip away. And things are looking like they could turn out in our favor. They really do. We're able to stall out for that last count. We're able to get in a Vanish uh, and even get in a priority on Rosé. But because of the cost up, we're just not able to deal with it. We're able to drop combo, though, because of it and get damage in on this Broly, get some priority in. But we got nothing we can do there. We didn't have enough key in time, or at least uh, I just didn't have the reaction speed. Um, we're going to be able to go in. He's going to go right away because he knows there's nothing I can do off of that Vanish, and he's going to get a solid win. One of my favorite matches this season is GG, my dude. Next up, we got a nice little free-to-play GT team, and I always try to show love whenever I find a person running GT on uh, the metal. Now there we can see that I am terrible at timing sidesteps. Uh, that's all. Uh, I get to bail myself out with the, with the cross-arm guard as per usual. Uh, it's my favorite thing about him. Uh, we're able to, you know, get a nice little, uh, nice little vanish in there. We're able to get ourselves a nice little priority. Things are working out. I go for the drop combo. I'm not necessarily sure why I went for a drop combo. Uh, just kind of ended up working out in my favor. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna transform. We're gonna see if we can go for the priority right here. See if we can gain, uh, you know, that. And it does work out because you do hear the vanish. Um, just kind of stalling out at this point, seeing what we can do. We get the nice little double vanish, and he does over tap at that point. Uh, which is just unfortunate. Now what's even more unfortunate here is that two of our Dragon Balls are now locked behind blue cards, which is just like, all right, you gotta be kidding me. Um, and I tried to be a mad lad to see if I could time him off. Now at this point here, I probably would have behooved me to switch to Majin Vegeta and then, you know, try to have bailed myself out with, once again, the cross arm guard, especially because I had this blue card in the back pocket. Uh, but no, we're gonna end up letting um, him take a little bit of damage, and he's gonna throw out his ult with Omega, thinking that he might be able to catch him, but no, we got Majin Vegeta just fine to soak up the damage. No problem, even if he has all of his Dragon Balls, it's not doing much at all whatsoever. Uh, so once again, we're able to catch him with that, that uh, dash forward and, and sidestepping. Uh, so that works out just fine. And right here, we see the, the difference of a, uh, a, a six-star LF versus a free-to-play uh, kind of outdated anniversary unit. We get a blue card to take him out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I wasted a PV there, but, you know, that's neither here or there. Not necessarily a problem. Well, I mean, it sort of is. But we once again go for the cross-arm guard, you know, all reliable. It does the thing. And the blue card actually ends up taking out Omega, which, of all of his units, Omega was eight stars. So, like, I was not expecting that blue card to do the job. He's going to rush at this point, which, no biggie. You know, we got the two other guys in the backhand. We've used the cross-arm guard, guard plenty enough already. Uh, we go for the guess, doesn't go through, ends up being one of the other basic cards. Whatever, neither here nor there. We've pretty much got this one in the back pocket, because it's just Baby with real low health, and Baby's not a damage dealer. Now, at this point, I fat thumb, but it's not a big deal, uh, because, you know, it does end up getting his vanish. I do panic swipe there, because, again, I had fat thumbed. I wasn't planning on doing that, but works out just fine. We get the strikes in with the Purple Vegeta to finish the job. <laughs> Last but not least, we're dealing with a nice little powerful opponent team. Uh, love seeing these guys. Uh, and right there is another example of I am just the worst at timing sidesteps. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, once again, we're bailed out by Old Reliable, the cross arm guard, uh, followed up by a blue card. And we can start doing some very nice damage to this Frieza early on. But he's not the one I'm worried about. I'm worried about this Crayon Eater over here, freaking Kid Boo. I mean... If you leave this Crayon Eater around for long enough, he is a nightmare. I, him and UI, I, I hate going up against these guys because, like, their green cards, you know, respectively doing their respective things. His allowing him to just stay on the field for absolutely ever uh, with all the damage he does, you know, sealing cards and stuff like that, healing himself with the green card, like, I, I just... I can't stand this crayon muncher. He he's a little too much sometimes. Um, so we're gonna try and get him out of the way like as soon as we can. It's clear that at this point he's trying to keep the red cell around just in case of a rush. Uh, but for whatever reason, I'm not getting any Dragon Balls, and right there I over tap. Uh, but you know what? It's, it's whatever. Now at this point he he's keeping his distance because he's trying not to do uh, cross arm guard again. It's a very smart play. It's a very easy way to box that out. Uh, if you're not necessarily trying to drop combo, you just stay from a distance. Uh, and things kind of work out here. He's going to bring in the red reviving cell. But we've got Majin Vegeta right there. And we've got this blue card to just eat that first life, no problem. So now we have no fear of Rising Rush, which still hasn't shown up, despite, you know, having priority basically the whole freaking match at this point. But that's a, okay. Um, so we're going to try and stop clock with the Vegeta, see what we can do. See if we can hit the Crayon Eater. We do bait out the sidestep. 
uh, or bait him out with the tackle, and then we're gonna get the blue card in and just punch him into oblivion. Just just blast blast his face in with our fists. Uh, now there, I, I either swiped too late or there was lag. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Didn't get the vanish. Big whoop. Doesn't matter because he drops the combo, and we're able to get this nice little exchange going. Uh, you know, bait out his vanish. Uh, we're gonna do all this, and yes, he's gonna kill the Vegeta, but it's not uh, or the purple Vegeta, but it's gonna heal up everybody else. Uh, and you know, it's just gonna give us our buffs that we need. Uh, now here he does uh, get the green card off, and good for him. Uh, but he goes for the main for some reason, which I, I personally I would have gone for the rush. I think he would have been in a much better position. Otherwise, it would have been a much scarier situation for me to face uh, if I was you know doing this alone with Maja Vegeta. He could have done it, but it, it would have been a much harder fight. Now I did try to swipe out there, see if I could you know strike forward and then swipe out of it. Doesn't work out. Not a big deal. Because uh, here, what we we're able to do is once again, we're going to do one of those exchanges to, uh, you know, get the tap. Uh, and both of us have no vanish. And I'm just going to throw the rush because I know the freeze is not going to be coming back anytime soon. Uh, we go for the strike. I wish I had had a blue or a green, but it ends up working out just fine. Uh, I guess the blast was the more obvious choice. We take him out, no problems. And now we're just down to a 50% Zenkai 1 Frieza, who's not even necessarily that amazing at Zenkai 7. We're able to time out the blue card, and it is no problem. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And once again, thanks for 200 subs. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.